So, remember those college days when we all sat around on the floor playing Cards Against Humanity in the party dorm room? And you learned more vocabulary that night than you learned in your entire semester of lit comp class. But you had forgotten just how inappropriate it was when you pulled it out with your family. And your Aunt Susan still won't look you in the eyes. So, you're stuck night after night playing the same game of apples to apples, laughing about Silly Putty and Batman. If only there was a middle ground. What if I told you there is? Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and together we are Tear Dice Games. And today we've got for you Cards Against Humanity Family Edition. Now, before we get started, full disclaimer, Cards Against Humanity did reach out to us and ask us to give our thoughts on this new game, but they're not sponsoring this video, so all thoughts and opinions are our own. That's right, and the folks at Cards Against Humanity sent us two copies of the game, so we've got one still in the shrink wrap, which will be given away to one of y'all. Uh, so stay tuned at the end of this video for more details. With all that being said, let's jump on in. Cards Against Humanity, for anyone that's never played before, is a game where each player takes a turn reading a prompt, which usually involves answering a question or filling in the blank. Players choose a card from their hand and anonymously submit them to the choosing player. The player reads the prompt and answers aloud, and chooses the funniest or best response card in their opinion, and the player wins the prompt card. The player with the most prompt cards at the end of the game wins. Now, we've been seeing a lot of family editions of some of our favorite games hitting the shelves lately, which is great. But what I want to emphasize right now is that Cards Against Humanity Family Edition is sort of a middle ground between your apples to apples and the traditional Cards Against Humanity. Now, we all know, if you've heard, that Cards Against Humanity is uh, full of some wildly inappropriate prompts. You're probably going to be using Google the first time you were playing quite a bit. Uh, and what I would say about this is that out of the box, what they've done is they've created a really great version that I think works for maybe 8th grade, ninth grade, maybe a little bit older depending on your family. I know in my family it probably would have been college age. Hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> also, this game, even though it's called Family Edition, I think this game also works really well for just teens. Like if a group of teens are wanting to get together and play this game, I think this game works really well for that. And they've actually consulted with psychologists when making this game to make sure none of the cards are triggering or going to bring up um, any bad things. So it has been checked for that. But the cards are really funny. Uh, <laughs> let me just grab a handful. 14 cheeseburgers, six large fries, and a medium stripe. Uranus. <laughs> Finding Waldo. Rubbing lotion on a hairless cat. Gluing my butt cheeks together. Dreaming about boys. Not wearing pants. <laughs> Aunt Linda, using balloons as boobies, the sweet honking of Karen's bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> the sweet honking of Karen's bassoon. That's so funny. Now, another fun thing about the family edition of this game is that they actually have several cards that were submitted by kids. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of cards that say written by a kid. I've got one here, elegant party hats. Just the fact that this was written by a kid makes it pretty funny. Uh, that but... would be the card I would choose if that was in my hand. <laughs> now, in my opinion though, there are only so many ways that you can use pee and poo in mm -hmm. a joke. But they found a lot of ways to use pee and poo in a joke. This is every pee and poo card in the deck. Uh, so we have removed a few of those from our game just because it got a little bit old for us. Mm -hmm. Some of them though are hilarious. Like, an invisible giant who takes giant visible poops. That's a pretty good one. I'll keep that one in. That's terrifying. <laughs> it's falling from the sky. Uh, pooping in a bag and lighting it on fire. <laughs> There's also several butt and farting jokes that yeah. we've kept in, uh, but here's a really funny one. Freeing a fart from its butt prison. Yeah, so one of the great things about Cards Against Humanity is that you can remove as many cards as you want and it's still the same game. Yeah. So that means you parents, you can go in ahead of time and you can do some pre-filtering. You can take out anything that you feel doesn't fit for your family. And right away you've got a Not really even good parents, because I feel like the people who are gonna buy this game are probably maybe parents. Like that's really cool. Like cool parents. But if you are a um, person wanting to bring this home to your family, if you just want to filter through those cards to cater to your yeah. audience, you definitely can do that. Yeah, and yes. that's that's a really good point too, mm -hmm. because I think we would personally have more fun playing the family edition. Mm -hmm. Just because you you don't really need all that. You don't need you don't need it. Now they still are taking submissions for new cards, so that says maybe expansions in the future. But one important thing I'd like to say, these cards are a different dimension size than the original Cards Against Humanity, so your decks won't mesh. So you can't add in your other cards from your True. other Cards Against Humanity games. So 
I said there's a lot of pee and poo cards, but this is a small amount. Your whole deck is huge. It's the size of this box. Mm -hmm. So you've got a lot more cards to, to play with. One thing I want to touch on is theme. Now, when you first think of it, you're like, cards can span a theme. Like, how does that really coincide? But I dove more into it. They carry their theme, their funny bone throughout this game, even <laughs> down to like the rule book. It's, it's oh, like yeah. layered with funniness. Like after this round, a new player becomes the card czar and everyone draws a new white card to replace the one that they just played. Keep doing this forever. But then this part, this this part right here, this like yellow tag, this disclaimer that which no one would ever look at. It says Cards Against Humanity. Disclaimer: Cards Against Humanity Family Edition is a work of satire. Please address all complaints and legal threats to the Hellman's Man Mayonnaise Corporation. And it gives our address. And so the, so it just carries that. So they actually just tell you to contact the mayonnaise, mayonnaise company if you have any problems with this game. So a theming. Really cool with this game. Nice, nice, good presentation. It's a really nice box, uh, multiple sort of layers, shininess. Yeah, very portable. I mean, people love to bring this game over to parties, so very good for that. So if you're looking for a toned down Cards Against Humanity, this is for you. That's good. Okay, now details on our Cards Against Humanity Family Edition giveaway. All you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is be subscribed to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram at Paradise Games, and live in the US, UK, or Canada, excluding Quebec. Sorry, Quebec, your rules are really hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and leave a comment below telling us a family-friendly, funny prompt that you would like to see in Cards Against Humanity. So that's for a prompt or an answer card, just something you think would be funny to see on a card in this game. Once you've done that, we will be drawing a winner randomly from that list on Wednesday, March 3rd at noon Eastern time, and we'll be posting that up there so you'll see it. It'll be on our Instagram and it'll be in the YouTube community post, so take a look for it then. And may the funniest prompt win! Happy, Happy playing! playing.